With lighteners, the motto is, low and slow wins the race. It's like a marathon. You don't come out of the gate sprinting. You gotta make sure that you're keeping up your energy along the course. Hello again, Ian here, and welcome back. Uh, in this video series, The Breakdown, this episode, we are going to be talking about all the different lighteners that we have under the Schwarzkopf Professional umbrella. We've got a handful, and I wanna walk you through as to like why you would choose each one. Here's how this is gonna go. There will be a chart that will reference each one of the lighteners with the facts kind of how you mix it, what levels it's good for, um, some of the care ingredients. We'll have that up for you to reference and you can pause when that pops up so that you can capture that information. But what I wanna do with you today is really kind of tell you why I choose each one of these lighteners and for which client or in salon situation that I feel, in my opinion, these would be best for. We're gonna start with our Igora family of lighteners. Now, the very first one I want to talk about is our Igora Vario Blonde Plus. Again, all of that information is for you here. If you'd like to pause and gather that now. Gotcha. Anyways, yeah, pause your computer, look at the, sc look at the screen. Um, so our, our Igora Vario Blonde Plus was like the OG lightener within Schwarzkopf Professional. For years, we did not have any other lighteners and this was the only one that we had. It gives me a beautiful up to seven levels of lift. I really enjoy it for foil work, and honestly, if you mix it just right, you could even do it for like gentle balayaging. The Vario Blonde Plus is a blue-based powdered lightener. Now, the blue doesn't mean that it's going to help you cancel out warmth as you're lifting. It's there to simply mask the warmth so that as you're lifting, your clients aren't necessarily seeing that kind of orangey, yellow, kind of chick feather, really unwanted tone that most clients don't want. I think, again, the consistency is great for foiling, and it could be really good for um, very gentle kind of uh, small area balayaging if you'd like. We have other lighteners that are really great for balayage, but in a pinch, it will work that way. Now, next up in the family of lighteners, we have Agora Vario Blonde Super Plus. So we started with Agora Vario Blonde Plus. Now we've got our Super Plus. The Super Plus is a fine white powder. So you, what you see is what you get. It gives me up to eight levels of lift. So it's giving me that extra level of lift, more so than the Agora Vario Blonde Plus. The powder is so fine, it's almost like working with powdered sugar. Um, if you've ever made icing or frosting before, it gives you uh, virtually no granul granular consistency at all. It just mixes into like a very smooth, kind of uh, almost loose peanut butter consistency. It's phenomenal for foiling, especially when you're taking slices or maybe even chunkier weaves. Because of that fine powder, it's able to penetrate right through those strands, through the other side of the foil, so that you're getting the best penetration possible, i.e. the best lift as possible. Now we are mixing both of the Vario Blonde lighteners from Agora with our Agora uh, Royal oil developer. Our recommendation is 10 and 20 if you're going to use these lighteners on scalp. You could use 30 volume with either one of these off scalp only, but I'm gonna stand firm and say we don't recommend that you ever mix either one of these lighteners with uh, the Agora Royal Oil Developer 12% 40 volume. It's just way too much. Uh, it's way too powerful. It gives a, a lot of unpredictability. I promise you, you'll get to where you need to go. With lighteners, the motto is, low and slow wins the race. It's like a marathon. You don't come out of the gate sprinting. You gotta make sure that you're keeping up your energy along the course. So that is our family of Agora Vario Blonde lighteners. We do have lighteners that belong to another family that most everybody knows, our Blonde Me family of lighteners. Blonde Me is our range that is truly dedicated to blondes, and rightly so, we have two lighteners that belong to this family. We'll start with, mm, I don't know, the crown jewel in Blonde Me, our Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener 9 Plus, AKA the Blonde Me 9 Level Lift Lightener. So 
So our Blonde Meat Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener 9 Plus is a beautiful, again, blue powdered lightener. Uh, we do have anti-yellow technology in our lighteners and specifically our Blonde Meat 9 Plus. Uh, but it has nothing to do with the color of the lightener, FYI. Uh, the anti-yellow technology in our lighteners has to do with the blend of persulfates, which are the ingredients that help you get the lift. It's the, it's the blend of persulfates that help break down the yellow. So think about this, anti-yellow technology, getting rid of yellow, those essentially mean the same thing. I love our Blondie 9 Plus if I'm doing any sort of foil work on maybe darker or coarser textures of hair. If I have work to do, a lot of lifting, maybe banding, old box color, or just over-deposited color, Blondie is absolutely my go-to. But what I love about the options that we have here is that sometimes Blonde Me 9 Plus is maybe too powerful. I have a client who has thin hair, fine hair, already light, naturally level seven or eight hair. I'm probably going to go back towards my Agora Vario Blonde Plus or Vario Blonde Super Plus for those situations. So Blonde Me is an amazing lightener if you've got work to do. You can use it in foils, you can use it on scalp, you can use it for balayage. We absolutely love it. It's been a winner in the Blonde Me family for us for quite a while now. And then recently we added our Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Clay Lightener, which will give us up to seven levels of lift. So this is a typical clay lightener consistency. You would mix either one of these lighteners with the Blonde Me Premium Developers. Uh, and again, you wanna go low and slow wins the race with most of these as well. The one thing uh, that I really enjoy about all the lighteners we've talked about today is that they all have integrated bonding technology. And that's really important when you're lifting a client any amount of levels. You want to make sure that the bonds inside of the hair are remaining intact so that you have strong, healthy hair to accept a toner or whatever it is that you're going to do afterwards to give you the best longevity and health of that hair. So that is kind of a loose breakdown of all of the different lightning options that we have at Schwarzkopf Professional. I think that they each serve their own unique and individual purpose, depending on the client I have or the situation that I'm about to deal with. So we hope that you're enjoying the video series and that you'll get to try at least all of these lighteners at least once. And make sure to follow us and subscribe. And also, you view the rest of this video series, The Breakdown, if you want to know about anything else that we have in terms of options under the Schwarzkopf Professional umbrella.